Okay, what we're going to look at here is compound distribution. So in this case, it's the compound distribution of a Poisson distribution and an exponential distribution. So the number of claims arising in one year from a group of policies follows a Poisson distribution with mean 12. Okay, now one year, just remember that. Okay, the claim sizes independently follow an exponential distribution with mean uh, 80, $80, and they're independent of the number of claims. Now, this is the important bit here. This is where you have to read carefully. The, the current financial year has six months remaining. Okay, Calculate the mean and the standard deviation of the total claim amount for the remaining six months. So, it's very, it seems like a very easy question, really, and following just using the, the standard formulas. But just actually, re, what we're given here is... Uh, a specification for the Poisson distribution for one year, but really what we're dealing with here is 12 months. So essentially, the mean becomes six. The Poisson mean becomes six because we're dealing with six months, not one year. So if it's one year, it's 12. If it's six months, it is six. Okay. Now, the second thing to remember is the exponential distribution with mean uh, 80. Okay. So if that's a, so essentially the uh, mean is um, 1 over lambda, okay, that's equal to 80. So lambda is equal to 1 over 80 and so on. That's the expected value of x, okay, which is the claim size. But the variance of x is 1 over lambda squared, okay. We'll come to that shortly, but it's actually just actually remembering what if the mean is eighty dollars, what does that mean? The variance is so. It's we'll come to that shortly. Okay, it's just actually remembering what the parameters are for the normal distribution and how they relate to the mean and the expectation and the variance and so on. Now, this is just a general bit of theory here. Okay, a compound distribution is the probability distribution of the sum of a, a number of independently identically independent identically distributed random variables where the sum of terms are to be added to itself is a Poisson random variable, which is that th this instance in this case, how many um, policies are and so on. In the simplest case, uh, the result can either be a discrete or continuous distribution. And when n is a Poisson, the expected uh, mean and variance of the compound distribution is the expected value of y is the expected value of n times the expected value of x. In this case, this is number of cases, this expected number of cases in six months by the average claim size. Okay, which sort of makes sense. So essentially, if we have, we're expecting six claims and they are, are on average $80, that means six by 80, $480. That is the total value. Okay. Now the variance is a little bit trickier. Okay. Now, uh, so the expected value of n times the variance of x plus the expected value of x to be squared, okay? Now, that, that is a sort of standard definition re regarding the compound Poisson distribution. And you can also, if you have the right values given to you in the question, you can express it as the expected value of n times the expected value of x to be squared. Don't think we're going to use that in this instance. But those are the two key formulas there, okay? Now, this one here in particular is uh, is the one we'll need. This one sort of, I think you could figure it out without knowing there is a formula for it, if you get me. But the variance formula is the key thing. Right. Um, so, let n be the number of claims in six months. So, the expected value of n times the variance of n for six, is six for six months. We, dwelt, de we uh, dealt with that already. That is based on 12 per year, six for six months. Okay, the expected value of a claim size is uh, eighty dollars, and the variance of that is eighty squared. Okay, now this is sorry. Just to go back over this, this is an exponential random variable. The expected value is lambda. And the variance is lambda squared. So it's one over lambda, and the variance is 1 over lambda squared. Okay. 
So it's essentially one over eighty, one over one over eighty squared, which is eighty squared. Essentially, square the mean. Okay, and let S be the sum of the claim sizes for six months. Okay, so there we have it. There, that part I was sort as I sort of said before, sort of intuitive. Really, we expect six uh, claims, and we expect there to be eighty dollars on each claim, so four hundred and eighty. Okay, but that's the formula there, uh, implicitly or uh, explicitly. Now the variance of x, or variance of s, which is the variance of the claim size, it's the expected value of n. Okay, actually I have it done in a slightly different way here. I'll just get that there. This is a slightly different expression of the same formula, but I'll just sort of go back to what I had there previously. Oops. Okay, so it's the variance of x plus the expected value of x to be squared. Okay, so this is 6 times the variance of x, which is 80 squared, plus the expected value of x to be squared, which is also 80 squared. Okay, and that works out to be 76,800. Okay, so what happens then is we get the standard deviation of that. It's just simply the square root of that. And that gives us our standard deviation of 277 approximately. You can just figure out what the correct, you could probably add in some cents there, decimal places. But that is it in a nutshell. Now, what were the key things there actually really? It was sort of straightforward enough. But there was this little hazard here going from 12 months to 6 months. Okay. And then also knowing how to work with the exponential distribution. Okay. Uh, in addition to working with these formulas here. I have a variation of it down below which I use. But essentially just knowing those as well. Okay. So yeah we'll leave it there.